What's up everybody? My name is Anthony. We are out on the backwaters today. I hope you can hear me. As you can see, oh, there we go, sorry. Walking through this backwater marsh stuff. My wife back there. Anyways, we are on the way to the spot this morning. Had quite a walk to get back here, but hopefully it pays off. And uh, yeah, we're after some panfish today, hopefully perch. But uh, when we get there, I'll start with, I'll put the GoPro on and uh, hopefully get into some fish. So we'll see you, we'll see you at the spot. On the road, finally found some fish. Walked like five miles. Get my back I should get this too. Got one. I didn't even see him on the Vexlar. Oh man. Oh, perch. <laughs> oh man. First perch through the ice. Oh man. Not very big, but that that's why I came out here. Another one. Ooh, this one's more feisty. It's probably a little fish, though. Yep, dink perch. Feisty little perch. Ooh, ooh. I think my wife's hooked up to something big over there. Hold on, honey. Don't lose it. Is it? Yeah. Oh man, yeah, it's a nice perch. Let's get him out here. Oh yeah. Mm. There we go. That's a better perch right there. Oh yeah, nice perch. Oh man, ouch. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> nice job, honey. Turn my camera off. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a tank. Is my GoPro on? 
think so, yeah. Oh my god. This thing is huge. Look at the shoulders on that thing. Oh my god. <laughs> He's not very long, but so he fat. is like, look at that. It's like as wide as my hand. Barely hooked it. Oh man, look at that. This thing will go like 13 maybe, but fat. All right, guys, so my wife's hooked up. I ran over to help assist. I thought my GoPro was running, and then she says, I think it's dead. I just checked, it is dead. But anyways, I got my cell phone here. I'm gonna record with my iPhone. Holy cow, two pound test, guys. We're fishing only like four feet of water in the backwaters. I mean, Ice is cracking all around us. This is crazy out here right now. There's nobody out here with us right now. It's just us fishing out here. My wife's hooked up with something big. We thought it was a big perch at first, but now I don't think so. I don't think it's a perch anymore. Yeah, I'll keep going. Actually, I think it's better if I... Once the fish comes up, I'm going to have to help land. Oh, yeah. Put your rod underneath. Yep. Put it underneath. Yep. Yeah. There you go. He was going that direction. There you go. Every time we get it close to the hole, it starts making those big runs again. That noodle rod's just bent. Man, oh man, oh man. Doing good, honey, doing good. Keep doing that. I don't see it. Oh. No, I don't see it. We have not seen it. Have you seen it? No, I don't know what it is. Maybe it keeps changing direction. Yeah, it's just swimming around. This big fish, they do that. They will do that. And then another thing too is it'll get hard for them. It'll be hard to get its head up through the hole. Cause they like to sit like horizontal through the hole these big fish so i hope we can get it through this hole because this is only a six inch hole but you know most of the times with pan fish six inches plenty but as you can see this is not a crappie or a bluegill or a perch or if it is a perch it's the grandmother of all grandmothers of a perch <laughs> Might be a pike. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, a it pike. Is a yep, it's a pike. I saw it. Yep, I saw it. I saw it. It's a pike. Okay. Maybe that's what happens when we're catching like those little bluegills, and then all of a sudden it's they dead. Disappear. It's because this guy came around. Yep. Keep doing that. You're right. All right. I'm gonna have to stick my hand down in for this one, guys. You sure? Yeah. He's too big. His head, if you can somehow get his head up into the hole, we'll, I'll be able to get him. But this is gonna be tricky. This is the danger zone right now. I didn't, I don't have a gaff and I don't, I'm not really for gaffing fish either. So. Decent pike, decent pike. It makes for a heck of a fight on a light noodle rod, two pound test, huh honey? You're doing good. You're doing good. I think you're hooked all right where you won't. If if he was going to bite you off already, it would have happened a long time ago. Yeah, now it's just making sure you don't put too much pressure where it snaps your line. And you'll be all right. All right, come on. Yep. Don't step back from the hole, okay? Just, just use the bend of the rod to your he's advantage. Right yeah, he's not far. He leaves. Huh? So like when I get him close? When you get him close to the hole, he knows he's hooked. He tries to run. Yeah. That's for sure. If you watch closely, you can see him swimming around. Mm-hmm. Like when he passes, I can see him. 
he'll tire out soon. All right, guys. This fight's gonna last forever. Come on. It's been like you've been fighting this fish for over five minutes. At least it's been close to ten minutes. Cause my GoPro, before I knew my GoPro was dead, there was at least five minutes of fighting before I even started my phone. There you go, there you go. Oh, there he is, there he is. Yeah, here's the tail. He's trying to fight, and he knows, so he's like... Yep, he knows. It's a decent pike. I had a feeling we could hook up with a pike. Oh, it's cool to see him swimming underneath the hole, you know. Yeah, hey, he's close again. He's close. Oh, he made a bubble, whatever that was. Ripple. There he is, I saw his tail. I saw his tail. It's alright, keep going. It's a decent pike. I saw its tail. It's right there. Like yeah. Okay. Yeah, right oh. Yeah, he it. yeah. No, he saw us. I'm not. Every time, every time its head comes up to the hole, it's gonna just dart like that. Um, yeah, that's what they do. It's all right. He's getting tired. He's getting tired. You feel like keeping a pike, honey? Eh, not, really. not really. That's all right. Me neither. <laughs> we'll just get a picture, and let it go, huh? Yeah, this is a good bay. If I do some tip-up fishing for pike here. Okay, okay. Oh man, it's thick too. It's not a little skinny one. It's thick. It's not a forty-incher, like but food. yeah. It ain't a 40 incher, but geez, it's a really nice pike. It's so pretty, too. Mm hmm. Oh, man. Ooh. Okay. All right. Danger, danger. And he's, and his it's head back, needs. It's back. It's right here. I couldn't. All right, guys. Just stop recording for a second. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, that was a struggle. Here it is. It's as long as me. You want to film? Film me. There. All right, guys. Okay. This is my wife's pike right here. That was like a 15-minute fight that she did. Look at that hook. Oh my God. Four millimeter tungsten. Wonder it's bread. Focusing. You guys see that? Right there? Right there. That's all it took. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna unhook this. We'll get some pictures with my wife holding her fish and uh, we'll let it go. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Just a beautiful Mississippi backwater pike right there, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna let this big pike go. Let, oh, <laughs> stick its head in the hole first. Yep. Here. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. There we go. Oh, it's ready. It's ready. It's ready. Okay, okay, okay. Relax, buddy. Six inch hole, guys. Okay. Big, 
beautiful Mississippi backwater pike. There we go. See you later. All right, hey guys, welcome back. I'm home now and I just wanted to let you guys know how the day went. It was pretty slow to start with and I checked a few spots, put on a good two, three miles uh, today walking around and actually kind of wandered our way into an area that I've never fished before. Popped one hole and uh, it only turned out to be about three or four feet deep and um, that's where we caught all of our fish today. We fished anywhere between three and six feet and most of our fish were caught shallow. So I was really, really surprised. I was thinking, you know, they were going to be a little deeper, but that's how it is on the backwaters. You just never know. And I didn't even use a Vexar for the most part. If I did, it was more or less just to check the depth. And, um, my wife, she used it just because I think, um, she just liked, she just liked having it, um, on. Anyways, uh, today um, all I used was a four millimeter uh, Widowmaker. Uh, let's see, Widowmaker White Glow um, Wonder Bread, and uh, let's see, it's like well, the white pink polka dot or something like that. We use three colors, but um, primarily it's a four millimeter like white um, Widowmaker tungsten jig paired with uh, two, three spikes on it and um, two pound test. So that's all I used. Um, it worked, did really great for us. Uh, it was a tough bite overall, even though the fish were there, it wasn't like stacked, but you know, I worked for it. My wife worked for it. We got our fish and total, uh, we only brought home, I think I only kept like seven or eight fish total. It's not much, it's not much for a full day's worth of fishing, but highly highly grateful and i'm thankful for uh, being able to be out there and uh in my eyes a successful trip to the backwaters considering that i've never been to this spot just kind of wandering around in the woods in the backwaters and the sloughs you know walking through uh knee deep snow to get to wherever i was trying to get to so that's how it is i guess you know sometimes it pays off sometimes it doesn't and uh today it paid off so Thank you guys for watching, and I uh, hope you guys get out there too. The Backwaters has some awesome fishing, and uh, definitely worth, if, if if you have a spot in mind that's far, sometimes I'd say it's worth worth the trouble and the effort to go to. So uh, until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.